when did you first find out about uh, the situation here with the sale of the park and all that? Well, I just found out a few days or a week before, but they had it on sale since um, about a year, you know, they had people, or they had, well, they didn't advertise it, but, you know, passing the word around trying to sell it for a year. Mm -hmm. That's all I know, and then within a few days, um, before they sold it, we got the word that they sold it October the 1st, and then the 3rd, they give us um, notice that we were evicted for, after 30 days. So. And that's what I got on TV. The people, all of them around here, were very disappointed because Mr. and Mr. City had told um, most of us, well, they told me for one and some of the other ladies, not all, that they would try to get us here, or keep us here for at least six months mm -hmm. before we got evicted. So. Well, now, I had heard from some of the other people that they had indicated that things were going to stay the same with the new owners and that yeah, everybody well, was going to be allowed. Yeah, well, for six months. Six me. months is what they said? Mm -hmm. Okay. They like this for six months, and then they would probably get rid of it. Or so when did, they, when did it turn into you got to Two days after they took over. Okay. Mr. Ring Haver took it over to October the 1st. We got our notice on October the 3rd. So what are what are your plans? Well, I've been looking around because there's so many, we call snowbirds, uh, from the north coming down. Mm -hmm. And they picked up a few of the campgrounds and built them so far. And I've got two places I'm checking on. They told me to call back tomorrow on one. And the other one said, well, call us back after Wednesday that they were going to do something. They didn't tell me what. They wouldn't be in the office. So that's what I'm waiting on just for that. Exciting, but uh, and then I've got friends out here and then I've got church family that kind of helps me hold, calm my nerves down along with mm -hmm. knowing Jesus. I love him. If it wasn't for loving him and knowing him, I don't think I could really have done nothing but probably commit suicide or something. Hmm. That's how bad it got to me. But I feel like um, getting a little more relieved because there's other people that are, you know, uh, checking around for themselves if they see something from me. And then, of course, I've checked into a couple of places. I don't drive in St. Augustine. <laughs> <laughs> I would say to Mr. Facetti that I'm sorry that they didn't give us uh, the six months I understood. And then I told Mr. Ringhaver he was a coward not to stay around. He left. Friday morning. Don't know when he'd be back. <laughs> that terrible, but yeah. I don't appreciate that. Appreciate well, them.